We live in a world full of electronic devices, but unknown to us, each device has a field. An electromagnetic field, that is. And while we can't sense it directly, being humans and all, we can still detect it through indirect means. In my case, by converting the fields around me into audible sound through a special pair of headphones that you can build yourself. The headphones contain a rather simple circuit, not unlike a radio. In fact, the only real difference between this circuit and a radio is that this circuit can't be tuned to a specific frequency. It all starts when the electromagnetic coils are in a magnetic field. By induction, the field is converted from magnetism to electricity. After that, the electrical signal feeds into the amplifier circuit, which significantly raises the power of the signal, enough to drive the speakers and the headphones. The output from the circuit is pretty interesting, but rather than just hearing a description, take a listen for yourself. First up is my graphing calculator, running a 15MHz Z80 processor that you can locate from the outside just by picking up its noise. Cell phones have very strong signals, not surprisingly since they have a pretty long range radio transceiver built into them. You can't see it in the video, but to prevent the audio from clipping, I actually had to hold my phone 3 feet away, as well as leave it on airplane mode throughout the rest of the recording. Typically, phones give off periodic clicks, but whenever data is used, the sound becomes much more complex. A more obvious choice for this circuit would be any type of transformer, such as the one in this AC adapter. Because transformers contain electromagnets intended on inducting a field into another coil, you can get a pretty clear sound. You'll also note that you can hear the 60Hz from the AC running through the device. Lastly, I decided to listen to my wireless mouse. Like in the cell phone, it has a radio transmitter in it, but since its range is significantly shorter, the field is significantly weaker. Also, to save battery, the mouse only sends a signal when it detects that it's on the table and is moving. This circuit was really surprising to me at how complex and diverse the electromagnetic noise given off by various appliances is. At the same time, they also made detecting that noise much more interesting than with something like a simple meter. While I could only record one audio channel, the headphones actually function in stereo, giving the user spatial awareness of the fields they detect. As described earlier, the circuitry behind these headphones is simple, and easy to reproduce at home with a few components. For step-by-step -step instructions and schematics on how to build your own headphones, Check out the instructable I wrote here, and best of luck exploring the electromagnetic fields around you.